Hi, welcome. So following on from all the various technical analysis tools we've talked about in previous videos, today we're going to talk about support and resistance because understanding support and resistance is absolutely foundational to technical analysis and to being able to read the charts correctly. Using support and resistance is one of the most basic methods of trading. It can be used to manage your risk for setting stops. It can also be used to identify appropriate entry and exit points, and it can be used to determine the market conditions. As we know, prices move because of supply and demand. When there is excess demand in the market, prices will rise, and when supply is higher, it means that prices will fall. Sometimes, however, you find that prices move sideways because the supply and demand are in equilibrium. So what is support? Well, in a downtrend, prices are falling because there is an excess supply in the market. And the lower the prices go, the more attractive they become to those who are waiting in the sidelines to buy. And obviously, buyers want to buy at the lowest price possible. At some level, the demand meets the supply. And as a result, the market turns. But this level at which the market turns is known as the support level. Remember, though, that support can be a level on a price chart or it can represent a zone. So what is resistance? Well, as you might imagine, resistance is the opposite of a support. In an uptrend where prices are slowly increasing, the demand is outweighing the supply in the market. And as you can see here, as the prices move higher, there will come a point when selling will overwhelm the desire to buy. And this happens for many different reasons. It could be that traders have determined that the prices are now too high or they have met their profit target. Experienced traders will be able to clearly see when it looks like a price has reached that point or the resistance level and where supply might start to now outweigh demand. Like support, resistance is also not necessarily just one level, but it can also be a zone. Probably one of the most important factors of support and resistance is that the more times a price hits a support or resistance level, the more reliable that level is in predicting future market movements. And it often happens that these price levels become psychological barriers for the different traders in the market. And so once they recognize them, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And this only strengthens those levels. So support and resistance are very useful in helping traders determine whether they are speculating in the right direction. So this means that if the trade is wrong and the price breaks above the resistance or below the support, then traders can very quickly close their positions. However, if the price moves in the right direction and the support and resistance levels are respected, then a substantial move could be made. How do you identify support and resistance? Well, there are a few ways to do this on the charts. So firstly, you want to identify the peaks and the troughs. So to draw your support and resistance using peaks and troughs, you would select your time frame and then you would identify the highest peak on that chart and do the same with the lowest point. You will mark each peak and each trough. And if there is a downtrend, the support level will be the lower low peak and the resistance will be the lower high peak. Conversely, if there's an upward trend, the support level will be the higher low peak and the resistance level will be the higher high peak. Next, you can use multiple time frame analysis. So if you are using a short time frame, say the 15 minute time frame, draw your support and resistance on these different charts and then draw the levels from the one hour and four hour time frames on the 15 minute time frame as well. If the levels from the longer time frames are very similar or equal to the levels from the shorter time frames, then you could consider these very strong levels of support and resistance. Next, a very popular method for identifying support and resistance is using moving averages. So moving averages are generally thought of as dynamic support and resistance. So traders can use moving averages in various ways to anticipate firstly the moves to the upside when the price lines cross above a key moving average or to exit trades when the price drops below a moving average. And regardless of how the moving average is used, it often creates an automatic support and resistance. And it's important that you experiment with different 
time period moving averages to see which one suits your trading strategy the best. Then another very popular way of determining support and resistance are through trend lines. So if you're using trend lines, make sure you have at least three peaks or three troughs before you draw the lines so that you have a usable trend line. Then once you've plotted the trend lines onto your chart, your uptrend line will be the support level, while the downtrend line will be the resistance level. As with moving averages, they act as dynamic support and resistance. So in summary, support and resistance are foundational to trading, and there are several methods you can use to identify support and resistance levels, and there are many strategies that use support and resistance very effectively. They are very good for managing your risk, for identifying market conditions, and also for identifying possible entry and exit points. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please send them through to us. Our website is fxscouts.com, and please subscribe and like. Cheers.